This is Prabha Varma here with my next video on finding the missing frequencies when the median is given. We have already done questions in finding the missing frequencies when the mean is given. Now here we find the missing frequencies when the median is given. So in the question you are given class intervals, you will be given the frequencies where two frequencies are missing, they have been denoted as x and y. You will also be given the total of the frequencies that is n or sigma fi over here. In this question it is given as 100 and most importantly you will be given the value of the median. So in the question the median is given as 32. Now we proceed solving this question. The first step is to find the cumulative frequency. To find the cumulative frequency the first one is written as it is. Then I add this 10 to x I get 10x. I add 10 plus x. Then I add this 10 plus x to 25, I get 35 plus x. Then I add this 35 plus x to 30, I get 65 plus x. 65 plus x plus y. And then lastly, I add 65 plus x plus y to 10, so I get 75 plus x plus y. As I've told earlier also, the total of the frequency is always equal to the last value of your CF. That means these two totals always come equal. That's why I have indicated by an arrow over here. Now coming down to the first step of finding it, we first find the median class. But in this kind of a question where the frequencies are missing, the method of finding the median class is a bit different. Since the median is given to you as 32 and I have already told you earlier in my previous videos that the median, median always lies in the median class. So obviously 32 will lie inside the median class. I take this value 32 and go into the class intervals you know that 32 will lie between 30 to 40. So 30 to 40 becomes my median class. I have marked it by two parallel lines. The formula median equal to L plus N upon 2 minus CF into H upon F. Over here L is the lower limit of the median class. The median class was 30 to 40. So L takes on the value of 30. N by 2, N is 100. So N by 2 takes on the value of 50. CF is always of the previous class. So CF over here is 35 plus X. Frequency is always of the median class. So that is 30. H is the class size which is 10. Putting these values over here, I get 32 minus uh, 32 equal to 30 plus 50 minus 35 plus X. Over here you have to very importantly remember to put a bracket over here because there are two terms over here and there is a minus sign over here. If you do not put a bracket over here, the whole question will go wrong. So I put a bracket over here, 35 plus x, again another bracket into 10 upon 30. These two get cancelled out. I transfer this 30, I get 2 over here. I take this 3 on this side. On solving it, and over here when I open the bracket, I got 50 minus 35 minus x. On solving this, I get x equal to 9. Now since there are two unknowns, I have to get <coughs> two equations. One, I have already got the value of x as 9. I just now told you that the last value of the frequency is all the total of the frequency is always equal to the last value of CF. So I equate both of them. On equating both of them, I get 75 plus x plus y equal to 100. You have already found out x as 9. So I replace x as 9 in this above equation. Now 75 plus 9 gives me 84. So in the next step, I have written y equal to 100 minus 84. So y equal to 16. Hence, the values of x and y are 9 and 16 respectively. Now, this is a very important question from the point of view of the board exams. That means you get a four marker question on finding the missing frequencies when the median is given to you. So, practice this question sufficiently. How to find out x and y? Because it is very important from the point of view of the board examination. It's a four marker question straightforward. Thank you.